One of my favorite anime movies has to be Redline, Madhouse's beautifully animated racing spectacle from 2011. One thing that always gripped me with Redline was the seemingly endless depth of the universe it built. The world of Redline feels tangible and lived in. Every character has history, even the ones you only see for a few minutes. The film totally grips me for its hour and 30 minutes, and when the race reaches its conclusion, Redline always leaves me wanting more. Little did I know, there was more. In 2002, Takeshi Koike and Katuhiro Ishii, who would later go on to create Redline, created a short OVA called Trava Fist Planet. It focuses on two characters that would later appear as racers in Redline, the crab-like mechanic Shinkai and his partner Trava, who stumble upon an amnesiac girl named Mikuru. The OVA isn't much, it's only around 40 minutes long, but just like Redline, Trava sticks with you throughout its runtime. Probably the craziest thing about Trava is that I didn't already know about it. I have no idea how something that eventually tied into one of the most celebrated anime movies of all time was able to slip under the radar. The art, while clearly not as stunning as a high-budget production like Redline, is still commendable for its creativity. Each character is distinct and pops out from their background. Everything has a striking black shading to it, giving it the same feel as something like Dead Leaves. The dialogue, however, is what really hooked me in. The banter between the main trio is incredible, a Tarantino-esque back and forth that feels like a real conversation unfolding. This realism makes the humorous moments of the show even funnier. By far my favorite parts of Trava are the chill moments on board the ship or sitting around the alien planet. Redline was great at this as well, where some of my favorite moments were outside of the races, like the restaurant scene, which is also where Shinkai and Trava made their appearance. Trava's story isn't much, just as well as you can do for the first installment of an OVA. The real strength of Trava's story is the way it continues to flesh out the world it takes place in. There's moments where Shinkai will go on about wars that have taken place, or alluding to the fighting robot tournament from which the show gets its subtitle, Fist Planet. The universe that's shared between Trava and Redline is such a highly detailed one that I'm extremely sad to see it underutilized. Between Trava and Redline, there's only been a little over two hours spent with them. Unfortunately, Trava was never completed. A trailer exists for the second installment, but it never came to fruition. It would have brought the characters to the Fist Planet, often mentioned in the OVA, and they would have competed in the tournament. This really saddened me, since I would have loved to see this universe used for more. If you like Redline or anything else I mentioned in this video, check out Trava. It's incredibly underrated, and it seems like not many people know about it. I can only hope that sometime in the future these two creators will team up with Madhouse again for another dive into the surprisingly deep universe of Redline.